Chances are, at one time or another, somebody, your mom, your standard five teacher or concerned Uncle Pete, has explained to you that most people only use 10% of their brains. Heard that? Well, this tidbit, which has been circulating since at least the mid-1930s and is still repeated today, often seems to be shared for motivational purposes. You know, if you'd only wake up, smell the coffee and put more of your precious grey matter to use, you'd surely leave behind the masses of ordinary neuron squandering peers and climb to success. What's the truth? Are we all Superman and Wonder Woman in waiting and only using 10% of our brains currently? Unfortunately for superpower fans everywhere, we're already enjoying most of what our brains can offer, which means that 10% figure is off by about 90%. No medical evidence supports the theory that we only use a small portion of our brains. One reason why this particular myth is still in circulation could be that scientists only have an incomplete understanding of the human brain. So while we may know that most people use the majority of their brains on a daily basis, we can't claim to know how each part of the brain actually works. Because neurologists have studied brain activity in people as they perform a wide variety of tasks, we do know that simple everyday activities only require us to engage a certain portion of our brains, but even then, it's in excess of a mere 10%. By way of comparison, think of your kitchen as your brain. When you cook a dinner for a group of 12, you probably use the majority of the space and appliances that you have. When you make toast, however, you use far fewer resources. So in mental toast cases, we often have no need to use the bulk of our brains. When we're engaged in a task, specific areas of the brain will become more active depending on the demands of that particular task. So over a single day, just about all of the brain gets a good workout. Myth busted. So while you can't look forward to developing incredible superpowers just yet, it's not all bad news. You can keep yourself healthier later in life by simply staying mentally active and engaging 100% of your brain. The plasticity of the human brain is able to constantly reorganize itself, allowing us to develop new skills and abilities right throughout our lives, which busts another common myth, you can teach an old dog new tricks, which is great news. Day-to-day -day chores, simply don't cut it on brain aerobics though. Studies show that cognitive decline is slower for those who are mentally active than for those who are less so. So by all means, work your abs for sure, but think a little higher too when it comes to overall fitness. If you don't engage the brain's ability to problem solve, be creative and manipulate numbers, it's likely your gray matter will feel underappreciated and won't work efficiently. The key is to regularly try something new. Novel challenges present unexpected obstacles, forcing your brain to work in new ways. When your brain encounters these new challenges, it must remodel its existing circuitry and find new ways to process information. Try this brain exercise right now. Where you are, say the days of the week backwards. Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. Now do it in alphabetical order. That's a little harder. Friday, Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, Wednesday. Find that too easy? Then try saying the months of the year in alphabetical order. And if that's still too easy, why don't you try doing it backwards in reverse alphabetical order? Here's a brain exercise you can do right now. Some mental gymnastics if you like. Don't read the words that are on your screen right now, just say the colors they're written in. Do it aloud and as fast as you can. Do it right now. Quite a challenge, wasn't that? And that's because your brain is fighting with itself. Often the written word is more powerful than the visual cue. Just a good exercise. You know, memorizing the lyrics of a new song, getting dressed in the dark, playing kids' memory games. Whatever you do, do something different to keep your brain fit by constantly challenging. It's exciting to think that we can expand our minds by tapping into unused portions of our brains. Although at times, it may seem that some of us can't possibly be using more than a tiny fraction of our mental capacities. I mean, did you see how that guy was driving? We do know that it takes far more than 10% for humans to be human. Consider it a compliment. You are using your whole brain.